In this cat school lesson, we are going to talk about two different <laughs> methods to train your cat. Hi, we are Julian Jones, and we teach you fun and practical behaviors to enrich your cat's life and strengthen your bond. Yes. When it comes to training cats, there are two methods that you need to know about. The first method is clicker training. Clicker training is based on the principles of positive yeah. reinforcement training. Positive reinforcement means that when we reward a behavior, yeah. it increases the chance that that behavior will occur again. We use the clicker to let the cat know which behavior earned a reward. Notice I click the split second he paw targets my foot. <laughs> Clicker training is the method we use at cat school to teach all the fun tricks and skills that you see. There are so many behaviors you can teach with the clicker. Now you're gonna get to see me teach Jones a brand new behavior so you can see all the clicker training steps that I use. Jones already knows the meaning of the click, but that would be your first step. Once you've got the prerequisite, you're going to try to figure out how to get your cat to do the correct behavior. Here, I've got the pylon set up between Jones and I, and I'm encouraging him to come towards me. This is a foundation behavior Jones already has. He knows to come towards me to get his rewards. I use the clicker to communicate to Jones the correct behavior is going around the pylon. Now you're going to see me move the pylon out a tiny bit further. I only make the training harder when Jones gets four or five correctly in a row. The goal in a clicker training session is that the cat makes no mistakes. Mistakes lead to frustration and that's what causes the cat to walk away from training. So we have to keep it really easy and only raise the criteria gradually so that they continue to get it right. And now you can see the pylon is a few inches further from me and he continues to do the correct behavior. Once your cat knows the correct behavior, you can pair a signal with the action. Now you've seen all the steps I take to teach Jones a new behavior. Now we are switching gears to talk about another cat training method called counter conditioning. When we counter condition, we change a cat's negative feelings about an object or experience into positive feelings. In this example, I'm presenting the harness and then I'm pairing it with food. I'm showing Jones that the harness is a good thing because he gets delicious treats whenever it's around. Counter conditioning is the best method for when your cat is fearful of something. For example, loud noises. Jones is scared of the garbage truck. So as soon as he hears the loud sounds of the garbage truck, I present him with food. If I pair delicious treats with the sound, I can change Jones's feelings about the garbage truck. In contrast to clicker training, where we are looking for a specific behavior, in counter conditioning, the cat's behavior is irrelevant. The association between the trigger and food happens regardless of what the cat is doing. A professional trainer can create a comprehensive training plan to help your cat overcome their fears. Now you might be wondering, how do you know which method to use? Clicker training focuses on what you want the animal to do in the environment. So in this example, I want him to sit, stay when the door opens because I want him to do the action of sitting and staying, I'm gonna focus on clicker training. 
I click and reward Jones for noticing that the door is open and for staying on his mat. Good. If you want to change the cat's feelings, we focus on counter conditioning. It's no secret that most cats don't like having their paws touched to clip their nails. That's why we use counter conditioning to change their feelings about having their paws held. I touch Joan's paws and then I present him with a delicious treat, a lickable churu that he doesn't get for anything else. In counter conditioning, the order of events is really important. I have to touch his paw first before presenting the treat. I'm not distracting him with the treat and then touching his paw. If I do that, the conditioning won't work. With counter conditioning, we need to expose the cat to the trigger at a very, very low level. Good. If the cat walks away from training, you've gone too far. For some training goals, you're going to need both methods. For example, leash walking. Yeah. We use counter conditioning to teach the cat to have good feelings about wearing a harness so that they know that the harness isn't scary and that they can feel comfortable when they're wearing it. We use clicker training to teach cats to walk on a leash. Here I'm using the target stick as a way to guide Jones forward. For all the behaviors you want your cat to do well outside, start by teaching them inside in a quiet environment. Thanks for watching and have fun training.